connection. Uh, just making sure I'm back. <laughs> I just got a message that came up saying um, poor connection. So I think we're back now. So I'm just going to check my other phone um, to make sure that we're all live and everything's working properly. So just bear with me for a second. Uh, just got connection issues here. Uh, yep, so it looks like I am live. And we're back on the air. So sorry about the um, sorry about the connection issue there, but it looks like we're back on. And I've got comments. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Hope you're having a great holiday day. For those of you in Australia, we've actually got a holiday today. Hello, Michelle. How are you? Hey, Sean. How are you going? You can see me and hear me now. That's that's pretty cool. You might be able to hear that. Um, I'm a bit <laughs> I'm a bit under the weather at the moment so I'm a bit underwater um, at the moment so I might sound a little bit sort of nasally and stuffed up a little bit hello Olive how are you I am live so that's good to hear I had connection issues there it was telling me I wasn't live and I think I was <laughs> so it's all good uh, thank you Andrew I'm sure I'll bounce back when I get some rest whenever that might be hello Barbara how are you so um, for those of you you know as you're tuning in please say hello tell me where you're coming in from those that are watching the replay please put the word replay down below and I'll say hello to you afterwards uh, for those of you that haven't met me before my name is Helen Martin and I am your online crew captain hello Rob how are you hey Jenny lovely to see you on live and uh, we are a community of home-based business owners here so those of you with a really small business of your own entrepreneur network marketer direct seller those in MLM that kind of business model we're here to learn to leverage social media and use modern strategies online strategies to um, you know build our business we don't want to chase anybody about our business we really want to learn how to attract people to us hello Mel how are you going lovely to see you on live and one of the questions that I get quite a lot is because Facebook Stories is emerging. And as I said, some of you may be, hey, Terry, how are you? Lovely to see you on live. Um, some people are uh, quite familiar with Facebook Stories, especially you guys that have participated in my video challenges previously. I incorporate that as a component of the video challenge, Facebook Live video challenge. So you get used to using stories, you get to play around with Facebook stories because it really is a huge part of your, or should be, um, hey Barbara, yeah, you're a top fan, awesome. Um, it should be a huge part of your social media strategy. So if you're not quite there yet, if you're not utilizing it yet, I would highly encourage you to. Thank you for the emojis, Andrew, and reminding me. Uh, we have the palm tree emoji as our mascot for this page. We have the little fish emoji for um, the free, uh, my free Facebook group. And there's going to be some training resources that I'm going to refer to on this video that are completely free in that group. So I would highly recommend um, you go over there and check them out. So that group is called Social Media Strategies for Home Business Owners. It's completely free. Go over there and request to join. And when you get into that group, when you go to the Units tab, hey Mel, how are you going? Um, when you get to the Units tab, Unit 2 is called Special Training Videos. And there's, some, there's uh, about three training videos there at the moment to do with Facebook Stories, which you're going to find really helpful. And those of you that are my online crew leaders in my private coaching community, you get to put the cruise ship emoji down like Sean just has. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I certainly don't look the best today, do I, guys? I think my cold's showing, but that's okay. Um, the cruise ship emoji. These are, this emoji is for my online crew leaders that are in my private coaching community called Online Crew Coaching, and we go through practical things, and I teach them like practical tips to actually execute on social media so you can gain momentum in your business online. So let's get. Let me sort of share with you um, 
I guess the thing to realize about stories is it's one of the, the fastest moving social media mediums at the moment in growth. Hey Jacinta, how are you? And um, yes, Sean, SS Martin, that's what we call the ship, SS Martin 2020, that's our goal, to all meet up together. The online world is beautiful and helps us all to connect via a screen, but I really wanna meet you guys in person. That's my goal and I hope you guys are on that goal as well. Um, so, um, you know, put down me down below if you want to be on the SS Martin with us partying away. Um, you know, that's what that's what we're aiming for. So there are just statistically. Hello, Sandrine. How are you? Um, statistically, there are 1.25 billion people at the moment embracing um, stories, the stories feature across, um, you know, different platforms. So it really is a place that you need to be embracing and be and and I want to give you some basics in relation to um, some of the, the, what would I call it, the essentials of Facebook stories that you tr should try to be abiding by. And then I wanna just give you a few creative tips. Now, some of you that are using Facebook stories regularly might already be aware of these tips. There were actually two tips that I found last night that I didn't even know myself from Facebook stories. And I'm like, actually, this is pretty easy and pretty cool. Why didn't I know this? <laughs> so I'm gonna share that with you today um, as well. Um, so yeah, 1.25 billion people are now embracing Facebook stories and Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook has openly said it's the fastest growing form of social media communication at the moment and will continue to do so. So it's definitely somewhere where you guys want to be at if you're not embracing it. So let me give you some sort of essential tips around uh, Facebook stories First and foremost, if you're not sort of aware. So firstly, it is made up for micro content. So we just want really quick, sharp content. Those of you that are doing Facebook Lives, they may be automatically posting to your stories. There's nothing you can really do about it. Don't worry about it. You know, if your Facebook Lives go to Facebook Stories, it's not the end of the world. I have watched, like I've had some Facebook Lives pop up in my stories that I haven't seen in the newsfeed. And so, and I've actually watched it. So it's not always a bad thing, but the intention behind Facebook stories is, um, yeah, I know, I know Mary, it's all good, it's all good. Um, <laughs> thank you for your comments. Um, it's meant to be micro content, so we want short, and that's the way it's set up. So even when you do a video and you keep your thumb on the circle, you'll notice that it's it's only a 20 second video. That's all that you can do. And that's what Facebook Stories is all about. Short, quick, sort of sharp um, content. What you don't want in Facebook Stories is people tapping the screen and going past your story. So that's sending a message to the algorithm that I'm not interested in this content and I wanna tap through. So what I would encourage you to do with your Facebook stories, put words on them, put emojis on them, put GIFs on them, put music on them. If you have that feature, some people don't. Um, you know, just make them interesting if it's going to be a still, and what I mean by still is a picture. Make it native to stories. So I know you can upload photos, you know, to Facebook and then it gives you the option or you take a photo and it says, do you want to put it in your news feed and your story? When you put it to your story and it's a photograph from your camera roll that you're putting up to stories, it's going to have two big grey banners either side of your picture if you pick up a picture from your camera roll and put it in your stories. So if you wanna put pictures in your stories, take it native to stories. So what I mean by that is go to the stories feature and take the photograph in the stories section. Um, it's, it's, you're not going to get as much reach through Facebook stories as if you upload content from elsewhere. So just something for you guys to be aware of. Those of you that are not familiar with Facebook stories, I'm just gonna try to show you um, that there's three different ways that you can access stories. So if you go to your, and this is my old phone, so it's certainly not as big as on my new phone that I'm talking in. But if you look here, you can see Facebook stories is right there and it's got a big blue um, plus button. 
That's where you access Facebook stories, guys, if you haven't ever before. The other way to do it is go to your profile picture and you can see that plus button there. You can get to stories through there. And the third way is go to your messenger. Go to your messenger app and it'll be sitting on the far, um, far left corner add to story with a little cross in it. So there are actually three ways that you can access the Facebook stories feature. So one from your general news feed, one from your profile, and one from um, the mess messenger. So take your pick, your pick, you should be able to get filters and stuff from um, all the areas that you, that, that you can access it from. Now those of you, uh, Mary, I'm hopeless with stories. I see so many that are interesting. Minor blast. So the good thing about stories is they are micro content. So they don't, you don't have to put a whole lot of thought to it. But if you think you're a little bit, um, like Mary has put a bit blah, add words, add pictures, add gifts. Make it interesting visually by what you add to your story. And I'll show you a little bit of that in the moment because I'm just going to go through some basic sort of technical tips for you, um, you know, as well. But I've got, as I said at the beginning, I've got three videos in my free Facebook group, Social Media Strategies for Home Business Owners. One of those videos is those three options that I just showed you. The only problem with that video is when I record a video, the video plays back and I'm still talking. So there's a couple of areas in that video where it sounds like I'm talking over myself, um, but it doesn't last long. I've got another video of how you access stories through, um, yes, Rob, short and sweet, how you access stories through a business page. So if I go to my business page, I'll do this now on my phone and show you what I mean. And I've got a video describing all of this in my free Facebook group in unit two. It's called special training videos and there's a whole lot of videos in there. So um, I'm going to go to my business page on my phone and oh my gosh, it's just proved me wrong. <laughs> so that's the first time I've seen that. That's my business page accessed from my business app and it's actually a circle now with a cross on it. But um, that must be new. I'll have to check on this phone. Normally when I look at my business page through my business pages app, which is if you've got a business page, that's where you should be accessing your Facebook business page through the business pages app, not the blue Facebook app. Um, that's always been a square for me. But there is a workaround to access Facebook stories on your business page if you see a square and you don't see the circle with the... <laughs> the uh, the stories option on it. So yeah, if you go to your business page and your profile picture is a square and you can't see the stories feature, there is a workaround and I've got a video of how you do that in my free group. So feel free to access that. I won't go, uh, I won't go into detail. Jacinta, yes, I think that changed uh, this week. So they actually roll it out, Jacinta. So, um, you know, maybe there's a whole lot of people, including myself, that have got it now. But, you know, just only days ago, that was still a square. Uh, so that's quite interesting that I'm sharing that with you now. And it's suddenly a circle. But if you still see a square, if you haven't got the update on your business page, then um, there is a workaround um, from that video in my free group. Okay, so that's how you sort of um, access stories. We're going for micro content. Be native um, to the news feed. So the other things I wanted to show you is how you make them interesting. Like Mary thinks, obviously, her Facebook stories are boring. So I'm going to go back to uh, the news feed. Okay, there. I'm going to click that blue plus button. And, um, well, I've got my case on the back, which is, um, you know, a black. So I'm going to take a picture of myself. So I, mine is a circle all the time. That's awesome. Like on our profile, Facebook profile pages, it's been a circle for a long time. Some people's business pages, those still have the square. So obviously there's been some updates in the last week. So hopefully those of you that have got a business page um, all have the circle now. But if you don't, there is that workaround video. So I've just taken a picture of myself in Facebook stories from the newsfeed. So what I want to share with you, and it would have been easier if I did this 
sharing my screen, but not that organized today. So you can see here. Oh, oh, I just added it. So you'll see that in my Facebook stories. So I pressed a, I pressed a button. Oh, that is such an awful picture too, because I'm sick. <laughs> we'll do it again. <laughs> so I absolutely accidentally tapped a button down here and it's actually already sent it to my Facebook stories. What a terrible picture. Anyway, moving on. So we've got our three options up here. So if I click the first one there, it's going to give me a whole lot of stickers and things to choose from that I can just tap on and move around, add to my story and make it interesting. I can also tap on the big A and the little A and I can put some words in there. I can change the font by clicking on that, those words there. I can change, the, this is interesting doing this backwards. I can um, press that one there. Hang on. And block out the color at the back. Hang on. Doesn't want to work for me now. I can't get that to work. But you can um, put block color, um, you know, at the back and change like the highlight color at the back just by changing this and the colors at the back. So add text to it, add um, stickers to it. Um, I'll do done there. And when you go to the sticker here, oh, it's interesting doing things backwards. You can put the time on it. You can put music if you've got the music option. Some of you won't. Um, you can put those stickers on it. But be interesting, guys. Press on the GIF. Press on the GIF option and press something like, um, I'm just going to choose, I'm going to type in happy birthday and search. And so now I'm going to choose some lips. <laughs> With a with a blowout thing for you know somebody's birthday, I could send somebody um, you know happy birthday to me or you know whatever it is. So use the gifts. That's how you make your stories interesting, guys. Like just the best thing you can do with Facebook stories is to actually go around and play with all the features. Use the stickers. Um, yeah, it can be deleted, Mary. You're quite right, Sean. And I'm gonna go back and delete my. Um, my other one I just accidentally posted because I look like crap today because I'm sick. But anyway, um, so, you know, play around with it, put words on it, put gifts on it, put music on it. Like this is what attracts people's attention, but it stops the press. Remember when people tap on it, they're tapping away from your content. Um, what I've seen is people that have flashing words, arrows that adds to each frame of the story. Yeah, so that's where you play around with GIFs and you play around with all the features. So just, just play around. That's the best way you can learn and it makes it more interesting than just looking at a picture for you know a number of seconds. So the other thing I would advise you to do is take video instead of stills. So I took a standard photo and, but it's native in stories. It's not uploaded from my camera roll and I'm playing with stickers and GIFs and I can put words on it and block text it and all those kind of things. So that's pretty cool. But the better thing to do is, so I'm just going to discard that, is if I keep my finger on the, um, you know, how am I going to do this? Well, on the, on that button there, and if I keep my finger on it, it's obviously recording. So um, instead of taking a still picture, sorry guys, a bit hard to do backwards. Instead of taking just a picture, take a video for like five seconds or 10 seconds and zoom in and out. So it still might be you or it still might be a landscape or it still might be, um, you know, something cool. But just zoom in and out for 10 seconds and then put some stories on it and, you know, um, some stories, some words on it and different things. And make it interesting and put a GIF on it. Don't go overboard, though, with too many stickers or, um, you know, too much on it to overload it when it's a video because they're already looking at the video. So they're better for, like, still photographs. But what I learnt last night is I didn't realize, you know, when you go into stories, 
You can um, flip your screen by using that one. You guys would all know that, that have done photographs and Facebook Lives and whatever. What I didn't know is that if you tap on your screen twice, so if I just go tap, tap, it reverses the camera immediately. Tap, tap, reverses it back. Tap, tap, reverses the camera. Tap, tap, reverses it back. So you don't actually have to waste time in going looking at that button at the top and flipping the screen that way. Double tap on your screen really quickly and it actually reverses the camera really quickly. So if you want to do an interesting Facebook story where you, um, you know, looking at something forward but then also want to do you at the same time, just double tap or try it, test it out guys. You can always do stories and discard them. So play around with it. But if you double tap on the screen, it actually very quickly flips your screen. I, I didn't know that. Maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm naive. I don't know. Did any of you guys know that? That use that? I always thought you had to actually push on the little button, um, you know, on the top. And yes, Sean, you're quite right. It works on live video too. So obviously, Sean had worked that out. But Rob didn't know. So that's cool. The other cool thing I realized is when you take a video, so it's, it's really hard. So you press on that circle that I just showed you and it takes a, um, does that apply to any type of phone? I can't say that all phones have all features for Facebook stories because some phones are really old and won't have all the features. So you just have to play around with it, Mary, to find whether you've got it um, you know, or not. Just go into the stories feature and just test it. So if you've got a really old phone, there are some things that I might say that you can't do because just because it's an older phone and you don't have newer features. So it just, it just depends. It also depends on the type of phone sometimes as well. The other thing I didn't realize is when you when you do a video, whether it's 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, or 20 seconds, if you take a video, like if I want to zoom out, I'm literally, like I literally move my phone. Like you might have seen stories of uh, phone. You have to test it, Mary. So there are, there are definitely things on Android, but it as I said, it depends on the type of phone as well as the version, um, you know, the age of the phone as well. Um, so you just have to test what you've got. Um, so when I'm taking a video in stories, I'll move my phone in and out like that, like it's a little bit choppy. <laughs> you can actually um, go into Facebook stories. I'm not sure if this, if I'm going to be able to show you this right. So I'll just explain it. If you've got your thumb on Facebook stories to take a video, so um, if I wanted to zoom in, I would literally move my phone to go in and out and keep my thumb on Facebook stories. If you slide your thumb up, it actually zooms in and slide down, it zooms up. So you start your thumb on the circle and record, so the little red circle is going around. But while you're there, if you just move your thumb up or down, um, then it actually zooms in and out for you. I didn't know that. I'm actually physically moving my phone <laughs> in and out to get closer. But if you want to, you know, just in a little video, a little cool video, zoom into a sunset and then move out, like just literally put your finger on the record button and just slide your thumb up while you're still on the record. Like just literally slide up and it zooms out for you. I, did, I didn't know that until last night. So yeah, another cool tip, Olive. So it's just a really cool way to create interesting stuff in your Facebook stories um, with features that are already there. So if I put my, you know, my finger on there and it starts recording, you can't see it, but if I literally just go like that, that's all I'm talking about, guys. You just lift your thumb up and lift it back down. It actually zooms the screen while you're taking a video. Um, so, um, yeah, just little things to, to help you be a little bit um, more creative. Uh, what else? I'm just checking my notes, guys. Um, what else did I want to share with you? Um, okay, the last thing I wanted to share with you. So these are just basics, but a couple of things I didn't even know, um, which I thought were pretty cool, is when you go into Facebook stories, um, hang on, I'll just get it back. So if I go into the feature, so I am in the Facebook stories feature. It's black because I've just got my cover 
hiding the camera. If you go into the thing that looks like a wheel, how do you bounce? What do you mean bounce? Do you mean boomerang? It's in the features at the bottom. If that's what you're asking me, Barbara, there's the features here, boomerang, normal, video, and music. They're, they're down the bottom. I'm not sure if that's what you're asking me, Barbara. So if I go into Facebook Stories and I go into the wheel, this is where you can check your settings and make sure, can you see there, hang on, the light's in the way, terrible angle, uh, it says public. I've set it to public. So the options there are public, friends and connections, uh, friends only, or custom. I would highly recommend, hey Crystal, how are you? I would highly recommend any of you that are using social media to build your business um, online and you're using the Facebook Stories feature or, um, hey Laura, how are you? If you are not using the Facebook Stories feature, you should be. You should be, and look, I'm still getting used to this, guys, and I get very, very busy, and I don't always have something in my stories every 24 hours, but I would highly recommend moving forward, you create a new habit for yourself and try to have something active in your stories every 24 hours. So Facebook stories only last for 24 hours. They do get archived and you can actually save them to your camera roll to keep them, but they will go away. So, I mean, I've gone days, guys, where, you know, I've done a Facebook story and then I've been so busy that I've forgotten to use it. Like, it's not the end of the world, but what we should all be moving towards is having something in your stories all the time. Even if it's just one a day, it stays there for 24 hours. So if you can do one every day, then at least you've got something sitting in your stories like all the time. That's what you should strive for. But what I'm trying to highlight to you here is when you are in Facebook stories and you go to that wheel that I showed you on the top right, you'll get a screen that looks like that. Um, I'll answer that for you in a sec, Mary. Good question. Um, sorry, the light's particularly bad there, but you want it public, guys. It will default to friends only unless you go and change that. So go into Facebook Stories, click on the wheel and change it to public um, or just check that it's still public because it will default to friends only unless you change it. Sometimes when they're, um, yeah, is, is that the same for business pages too? I would try to do it on business pages as well because the reach on business pages is amazing for Facebook Stories, Olive. So I would strive for both. Just even as a minimum, and I'm not even there yet, guys. I'm not perfect. I'm still getting used to using Facebook stories all the time myself. Um, but if you can have one in your personal profile and one in your business page stories, Olive, awesome. As a, you know, as a minimum. If we can all get to that point, that would be amazing because stories are going to get bigger and bigger. I told you... Um, yeah, so, yeah, Sean's answering you, Mary, as well, and I'll get to that, the highlights section um, in a minute. But thank you, Sean, for jumping in and helping Mary with that as well, because I'm sure other people would have that question about stories, highlights, is um, Facebook stories are going to get bigger and better. And I've already told you last week that um, I try for at least two a day on business page. Awesome, Edith. The more the better with Facebook stories. It's it's different to the news feed. So in the news feed, you, I mean, if you're putting 10 posts a day on your news feed, you're actually hurting your own algorithm. If you put 10 stories a day um, in your, the stories feature, awesome. Go for it. The more you have, the better. Like there's really no limits. It's not the same as it is the news feed where we can have overkill in the news feed. You can't really have overkill um, you know, in, in Facebook stories. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate your comment. So, um, yeah, we want them in every 24 hours and we want them public. Sometimes when there's an update to, uh, to Facebook, um, this has happened to me before, not by my choice. If something goes glitchy with Facebook, it defaults it back to friends and you didn't change it to friends. So every now and again, go into your settings, that wheel, and, and check that it's public. Guys, any of you that are growing a business on social media, you want your stories to be public. That's where, and the organic reach in the newsfeed of stories, it's a different, um, 
you know, algorithm to the newsfeed, completely different algorithm. And you will get all the updates for Facebook stories if you're using Facebook stories. If you're not using Facebook stories, you're going to be the last person on the list to get the updates when they come out. Um, as I was trying to get to a couple of times now, I've told you last week that Facebook is already testing behind the scenes, integrating a new news feed, which is a horizontal swipe, not a vertical swipe, which integrates news feed and stories like a completely new looking news feed. So, you, you, you know, you want to be there, you want to be using it every day. So getting, so check that your Facebook stories are public. You want to utilize that. Now back to Mary's um, question about what are stories highlights. Stories highlights, so uh, when you can, you can archive the stories and pull those, pull previous stories out and put them in albums, which is basically what stories highlights means. So if I go to my personal profile, I'll show you what it looks like, Mary. I'm going to my personal profile. I'm scrolling down. So I've got the about me section about and stuff about me. I've got some photographs of me. I've, it's got my friends. So can you see that box there, uh, Mary, that says story highlights? And I've got two albums. One is called work and one is called family. And I can make multiple stories highlights. So if you click on my family album and you um, you keep tapping through, there is all, these are not on my news feed of Facebook. These are all from Facebook stories. So I can pull them all off Facebook stories and put them in an album that I've called family and it's sitting in the front page of my newsfeed if somebody wants to go and look around my personal profile and they can go and do this. They can pull up my album that says family and you can literally go and look, look, you know, um, a little bit about my life and what I'm up to and that wasn't our last camping trip over Easter but we get up to all sorts of fun you know, we're camping. Um, so, you know, all of that is there. So that's what Stories Highlights is. And there's also a free training video in my free Facebook group about that as well. So I've got a dedicated video, completely free guys, on Facebook Stories Highlights and how you actually create the album. So as I said, if you're not in my free Facebook group yet, you might want to be because I've got all those training videos in there for free and they're in unit two um uh in in that facebook group so i think that's all i had for you just please make sure you're if you're going to go to all this trouble with facebook stories you want to make sure your facebook stories are public um so just check um you know that little wheel and that it, that it's public and it's you're getting maximum exposure because the organic reach from stories is pretty cool and it's only going to grow so if you're embracing it now before everyone else is then it's only increasing your algorithm for facebook stories so as we move forward Forward. And if there's any, like when Facebook do their testing of a horizontal news feed and integrating posts and stories in a new new look news feed, we know that the traditional news feed is going somewhere in the future. You're going to be really set up quite well to get maximum organic reach from the post that you're doing. So I hope that's helpful, guys. I get a lot of questions about Facebook stories. So I just wanted to share some basics for, um, you know, for you. Um, play around with all the features you know the other one up the top that I didn't go to is the little squiggle so if you click on the squiggle you can actually write on your screen you can say hi you can make that thick you can make it thin just by pushing a little button down on the side like go and play you can change the colors um, you can write something and put a sticker on it. You can write something and put a sticker and a gift and some music, although that's a little bit over the top. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's lots to learn, Mary. But at the end of the day, Facebook Stories is a really simple social media strategy to um, start using. And the fact that it's micro content, you don't have to think too much about it, guys. Don't overthink your content for Facebook Stories. Just integrate it from... Um, 
you know, from what you're doing in your everyday life. You cook something, take a picture, put a GIF on it, post it to your stories. You go for a walk, you're out at the shops. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful day. Take a photograph, put a smiley face on it, post it to your stories. Don't overthink it, guys. Those of you that are more strategic, blend your business, guys, in Facebook stories. Do curiosity posts. Hold something up and tell a little story in a few words on a Facebook story. There's so many things. This is the, you know, one of the futures of social media. And as Mark Zuckerberg said, it's the fastest growing social media communication at the moment. Okay. So did you find that valuable, guys? Um, you know, I hope you did. If you did, just put the word value down below. Um, for those of you in Australia, uh, like me, I really hope you enjoy the holiday um, that we've got today the public holiday um, you know enjoy some downtime you know with your family <laughs> yes Mary I should probably go back to bed but too many things to do um yeah anyway I'll be fine I'll bounce I'll bounce back um, and thank you Sean um, you sure Sean Mary's just off I'm sure you saw it um, Sean's offered to help you with Facebook stories if you need some help there so thank you guys for being with me uh, live when I'm not a hundred percent but I hope that all made sense and you could understand me and there was something valuable in there for you today and um, depending on what happens tomorrow I plan to be here uh, same bat time, same bat channel tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see you then guys. So catch you soon. Bye.